foundation just in general we got 2020 coming up it's the 2019 is the end of an entire decade so um it's like i've y'all been there since the beginning of that um 10 years that i've been performing around here and so um it's been it's been a lot so i've been processing that and um just trying to find some or create some stable ground uh, for what's next, what's what's popping up next in life. Yeah, man, you've been staying busy, <laughs> busy. Um, let's go ahead and get into um, the sale of your book. Oh, man. <laughs> so <clears throat> I released the book uh, March of 2017. It's called Ideas of illusion it's a psychological thriller that takes place in the year 2025 uh, in san antonio actually and uh self-released it uh, basically i just use rapper hustle and was setting up i'm like i'm so bare minimal with my setup i have like a table and a handwritten sign but i'd be selling units i'm like over a thousand books sold to date um and that's independent you know that's me just setting up at venues setting up at performances basically doing what a lot of people uh just wouldn't you know like i'm doing uh, tarot readings and selling books and bars like who does that tarot readings <laughs> yeah oh wow <laughs> we're gonna have to do that i think that's <laughs> wonderful yes indeed um now have you uh taken um the book off on like particular um like book tours out of the city it comes with me everywhere i mean i've taken it uh to different cities i've taken it out the country to japan i've taken it wherever it is that I can go and wherever people are willing to it's not even an act of willing you know it's really just uh, people just find it interesting a lot of what I do I use visuals um, to kind of get people interested you know a lot of my CD covers will, or my book cover in general will be very unique and so the eye-catching and so once I get them to talk to me you know getting them to come to me is half the battle and then once I talk to them and they hear what what it's about or hear what it is that I'm doing that's the other part and so um, the transactions have been almost like to every you know ten people six would pretty much get it and I'm trying to figure out the alchemy behind that magic formula, but it's been working pretty good. Um, uh, Serena Rabbit Rye had did the cover, um, and pretty much I had gave her the idea of just like this light, uh, this light bulb in San Antonio. She didn't even read the story yet, but she captured the essence of it pretty perfectly, and um, it's just it's been going good. She didn't even read the book before making the cover. No. Wow! I just wow. told her that's that, talent. Yeah, like, <laughs> well, we already know Rabbit Rise is you no know, talented. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Is, but to just capture the essence of it without even touching a word, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that says a lot. That says a lot right there, man. Um, so San Antonio, stay tuned. We've got more with Mr. Composition, and uh, we've got a lot more music for you to enjoy as well. Um, we're gonna kick it a little old school right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, take it back a little bit. Uh, this is music from Mr. Composition with Brick Wall. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of our all-time faves. <laughs> hey y'all, stay tuned. We got more coming out with Mr. Composition and more in the studio. This is the Urban Sweet Cast, Wham ninety point one FM.